Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. We are. So today we're actually going to be making a cocktail. Oh, well, you're going to be making it, I'm going to I'm going to be making it, yeah. And it's called a Gothic Romance, and it's using Gothic Gin. And we love Gothic Gin? We do love Gothic Gin. We re reviewed this gin some months back, and it blew our minds. It did indeed. It came all the way from America, yeah. and we absolutely loved it. It just contains seven botanicals, but it's so flavour-packed. It is an absolute winner for us. So, what do we need for this cocktail? Why don't you tell us? We need Gothic Gin obviously. We need some raspberries, Ooh. we need some lemon juice, um, and we need some simple syrup. Simple syrup. Simple syrup. Simple syrup. Simple syrup. <laughs> Made from simple things. Um, so let's get to it. First of all, you get your shaker, then you get your raspberries. This is the key ingredient to this here. So you get quite a few raspberries in there. Thank you, Oscar, there stabilizing you that for me. You sure you want some more? No, that's it. That's oh. fine. We give it a good old muddle. There we go. I'll give you a shot there. That was very, uh, what's the name? Floyd. What's the chef? Keith Floyd. Keith Floyd. <laughs> right. Anyway, so we go from this, we take some ice, which my assistant prepared earlier. Yeah. I did do something then. Yes. We take our gin. The most important thing in the Gothic romance is the Gothic gin. And we are using two large measures. We're doing this because we're making two cocktails. So there you go, one and two. Now, this isn't their exact recipe. I've played around with this a little bit and this actually works for our flavors, our, sorry, our flavor profile. Um, so we're then adding one large measure of freshly squeezed Lemon juice, look at that. Oh, that was perfect. I know, that was two lemons. Um, and then we're gonna add the same amount in simple sugar syrup. There we go. That's a lot of sugar syrup, isn't it? But it is cutting through the kind of the, lemon. Yes, the acidity of the lemon. And we liked it on the oh, we loved sweeter it. side. Yeah. There we go. So, lid goes back on, this goes on. We give it a shake. Well, your hands go cold. You, you give it a shake. I give it a shake. I'll just stand there and look pretty. Well, just stand there then. Ah, <laughs> so you do this until your hands get cold. My hands are pretty cold. Would you like to put some ice in the glass? I will me? indeed. How much ice do you want? So Scott has informed me he wants a bit more ice in these Thank you very much. by kicking me under the table. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we take we take these, we take our strainer, and just in case there's any extra little bits, we're gonna extra strain. So in goes this beautiful, beautiful red, rosy liquid. I sound like Nigella. You do. I do. <laughs> So there's no innuendos there, are there? In your endo. Um, right, then we're going to go <laughs> a little bit more. I want a bit more in my cocktail. Keep going. Well, listen, you get what you're given. That does look lovely. Smell is amazing. The smell is phenomenal. Sorry, that was me moving the ice. Oh, there we go. A little bit more. That about even, Oscar? Yep. Yeah, You'll be happy with that? I'm just desperate to try it. So right, there uh, we go. I'm so I'm just going to move that over to you. Excellent. And the final thing, soda water. So you top it up with some soda water. I've got some raspberry on the side. I know, it's very bad of you. And then as a final garnish, some raspberries in the top, and going to get a little zest of lemon. Not very much, it's just enough to get those oils working, just to complement the lemon that's in the cocktail there. Oh, a little bit more. There you go. There we go. Right. You're gonna give it a stir or leave it as it is? 
Do you want it? Do you want me to give it a stir? I would just like a little stir. There you go. Because I'm conscious that you put the soda water on top of the thing the correct way, but I like I would always stir it myself anyway. Right. Now let's see if this improved, well, hopefully improved res recipe. Right, there you go. Oh, that smells amazing. Got a little bit of lemon. <laughs> Other than that, that's amazing. I love that. Mm. I like the fact that you can that's taste so good. The the lemon juice. You can taste the lemon juice, but you're not getting the horrible bitterness of it's, the lemon it's juice. It's not too lemony. Yeah. And that sugar syrup, it's a right amount because I think if you'd had any less, it might be a little bit too sour. This is so nice. But you have to put a lot of raspberries in there as well. But what you're getting, you're getting a lot of the botanicals coming through from, from that from gin. The gin. Yeah, because it's it is same. a gin cocktail. So we wanted it to really punch full of gin. And we tried this at Goodwood We Revival. did, so we were at Goodwood Revival and uh, we met the whole team from uh, Gothic Gin. We did indeed. So we met Chris, Michael, Michelle, Scott, and we were there for all three days. We were all we dressed had, up. Uh, all dressed yeah. up. Scott dressed up obviously better than me. I arrived and I had to buy some stuff there. But I've got to say, I've now, really good. I've now found clothing that fits me well. From the 1950s? <laughs> from the from 1950s. There you go. So I bought some tank tops, don't <laughs> laugh. They're a thing. They're okay. a thing. No, we, a thing. we actually think we, because of our age now, we actually fit the vintage look quite well, don't it we? It was amazing. They're, they So they have a, what they call the Airstream. They have mm. an Airstream down there. They are also the official gin for the whole of Goodwood. So every bar was serving yeah. go gothic gin. And from what I understand, they did really well. They... There was a lot of great feedback from this gin. Yep. If you haven't tried this gin, check out a video that we did. I think, it, I think it's about six months ago now. Um, check it out, because it is an amazing gin. It is an awesome gin, yep. and we're so glad it's getting more and more popular in the UK now. Yep, you can get it on um, Master Malt, you can get it on Amazon, um, and there is another couple of websites, but you can Google them and yep. find out. We'll put links at the bottom of the video anyway. Down there. Yeah, in the description. Um, but this is a fantastic cocktail. It it's is. It's really, really simple to make. They uh, So you did uh, obviously adapt their, I did. their one slightly. You can find their recipe on their Instagram page. Um, but for us, we just wanted it to be a little bit more kick of uh, gin. Yeah. So that's why we went with the ratio that we did. Because they normally actually recommend more lemon juice, but we kind of we, we wanted the gin to come through a little bit more because mm. we absolutely love this gin. Um, as you can tell, we've got a couple of bottles of it. Yeah, just it's a few. <laughs> it's one, one of our favourites, that's for sure. But this is this is an amazing cocktail yeah. and I'm, I'm blown away by it there and we've, we've tweaked it a little bit for, for our taste. But I this for me is going to be one that I give to everyone who comes around yeah. the house. 100%. It's very refreshing. I really do like the balance. Mm. I think you've got the balance absolutely right. I'm getting everything out of that. And I muddled it well. You did muddle. You muddled through it very well. Yeah. Every day I muddle. <laughs> anyway, I'll do, I like that. <laughs> Keep that in. Right, yeah. uh, right, don't forget to like and subscribe. We hope you enjoyed this cocktail, or oh, this video of the cocktail. Um, and we'll see you next video. Cheers. Cheers. See you later. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>